go to learn about their history. The Cracker House at the turn of the century citrus farmer has been stripped down to the bare cypress and restored. Steve Overton is away from our studio tonight, but in this report he tells us about the Baker House. It's more than 100 years old and is still standing, despite its rather unorthodox construction. It's more than 100 years old, and it shows, especially upstairs. Be very careful, because the floor is very shaky. We only try to let four people in the person talking about the house upstairs. Now, this floor is original. It's pine, but it's very flimsy, because there's nothing underneath it to help give it stability. The builder's great-grandson, Gordon Baker, says his great-grandfather knew boats, so this house is built like an old wooden ship with pegs and no studs. It's the only remaining house in Pasco County built that way, and it's all still standing for now. The Baker house is so fragile and so important to Pasco County, the county has built an eight-foot-tall chain-link fence with barbed wire to protect it from vandals. Obviously, the environment out here has changed quite a bit since the days when Samuel Baker built this house in 1882. He was in the sponge harvesting business and also a citrus farmer, and out here there were nothing but citrus trees as far as you could see, except for perhaps that one grand live oak tree out there, which if it weren't here when Sam got here, he must have planted it. All of the furniture in the house is from the period, and some belong to the Baker family. In the 30s, another citrus farmer, Charles Anderson, bought the house. His granddaughter, Mary Vinson, lived in it for seven years. Well, of course, our children were in school. Uh, we lived here when our little daughter was born, and, and uh, it, it was a family house to us. It, it was... What's a family house? <laughs> Well, not all homes are family houses. You know that. They're unhappy places, unfortunately, sometimes. But this was not. It was a happy place. And now that the house is finally finished, after many years of our committee working together, we're looking forward to our first group of school children coming Friday to go through it, which is what we built the house for in the first place. In West Pasco County, this is Steve Overton. What a great lady. Neat thing to do, Neat too. Rep.